Welcome to episode 15 of Drunkards and Dragons. My name is Chan, a.k.a. Kriv. To my left is Kaido, a.k.a. Bear. In front Hi. of me, we have Selly, also known as Alan. Hello. We have Anasoptera, also known as Stephanie. Hey. And we have Chris, also known as DM, or God, or Spongebob, whoever the hell you want to call him. Spongebob. Sure. So, clank, drink, slam, let's start this shit. Okay. Woo! Yay! Oh, and guest tonight is Mugul, again, yeah, yeah. and Andy, who lives here. <laughs> who is also in the freezer right now getting ice. Don't tell people where he lives. You're breaking the immersion! Wow, this vodka is actually fantastic. It's really fucking good. It's in the it? witness good. protection program, Tan. Very good vodka. I would like to say I'm just kidding. that I'm still not getting used to this tequila. Then take the vodka stop. because it's fantastic. Just stop. Take, take the vodka. Just here. kill the tequila and never I, buy I it again. I keep thinking. All right, like, listen. Andy and Champ would do both. we will just straight up do both. I keep thinking that after the worst part about the vodka two. is it's gonna sneak up on you because it's it's good. I'm not gonna do more than like two or three. I'm fine. <laughs> it's Friday. Okay. The issue is. Then I keep thinking after a week or two, like I'm just gonna be like, oh yeah, tequila going down so. You have to. I think you have to drink it more constantly, because the thing is, you take like a week break and then you come back and you drink it twice. Right. You have to. You have to drink it like three times a week. Basically, you need to be an alcoholic. Dude. I don't think that's actually. Wait, true. wait, wait. three times a week is not an alcoholic. No, when I was learning to drink, like yeah, no, I, just I would drink once a week and I would drink a fair amount. Yeah, and then I'll come back the next week and it would taste better and then I'll come back the next week and I just drink and drink it straight. No, but the fact is he's bottle. drinking one shot a week and not even every week because we don't even play every week. Right. Like, you need to be drinking that... Every night. That, that okay. needs to be the only okay. thing you drink if you want to get used to it. Okay. Right. You're, you, you're you, drinking you gin as your drink and that's your shot. You have to take that as your drink and put it in a cup and sip it all night. Right. And if you want to get used to it. Do you, do you, do you, why would you want to get used to tequila? Do you, do you, do you, all all alcohols, why, why would you want to get used to tequila? I would like to get used to gin, but tequila's here, and it's, it's fucking gin is not a very good shot. It's what? Gin fine. is terrible. No, gin, gin is fine. fine. No, it's not. Like, I, it's like I'm it's a, like taking a shot of yeah. scotch. Who takes a shot of scotch? I did. Well, no, People drink scotch. scotch all the time. People, you, okay, you drink no, no, scotch no, no. and you drink gin. You don't take shots of these things. Right, you, you well, sip them. Right. But There's like, there, okay, I feel, it, it's like, I feel some like alcohols gin, you drink, some alcohols you shot, like, and some of them you can do both. Gin is so dry. Okay. Gin is fine. I like it. God, it's so dry. Well, that's fine. A. B, it, did you see, did you see the Justin like Timberlake? Gin licking a pine tree. Did you see the Justin Timberlake? No, stop. Uh oh. Go on, Alan. God damn it. All right. Did you see the Justin Timberlake video with him and like um, yeah, with that like English uh, the TV host? Oh, what the fuck was his name? It was like a 15 minute long video, and like they were just doing shots of tequila, and like the host was like fucking grimacing and stuff, and JT was like just like taking a shot. Did you just call, call him JT? JT. He yeah. did just call oh, him JT. God. This is why I wanted him to stop. This is Justin Timberlake is why boss. This is fine. Justin stop. Timberlake is a boss. I don't understand the problem. But. Is he JT not a boss? is less of a boss. Okay, Justin Timberlake. Justin. Timberlake. Justin. You can call him Justin. You can call him Justin. Or Mr. Timberlake. Mr. Timberlake. Mr. Timberlake. Mr. Timberlake. That's what I was just thinking. Mr. Timberlake took the shot like a boss. <laughs> so last time on Drunkards and Dragons. Yes, thank you. Um, these three, Bear, Anisopra, and Sally, left the comfort of the woods to go investigate the cart that was stuck in a hole. Still in the woods, but in a clearing. In a clearing, whatever. So, Kriv... Holding back because he didn't want to get ambushed or wanted to see how everything played out, watched as a large group came out to greet them with very large swords. What were they, kukri? Uh, they're small. They're Those knives. are knives. They're curved sword, knives. Right. Sword, sword, knife. Okay. Kriv, being the boss he is, charges out, murders one. It gets rezzed for some reason by the main leader, who's cracking a whip in the background. Nah, uh, he had a mace. Mace whip. Okay. There's a chain attached to a rock. Uh, I thought he had a flail. Chain uh, attached yeah, to a rock. Okay. Effectively the same thing. Technically, it was just a chain attached to a rock. Long story short, right. Sally uh, raided the dude. cart that was stuck in a hole. Ants oh, came out and ate the dead bodies, dragged them off. They didn't they eat them. Off. Well, they grabbed them, dragged them off. Uh, Kriv knocked the crap out of the leader, Very dude. Good. And Baron had to hold a large cart from keeping it from falling in the hole. Leader guy is still alive, but unconscious. Yes. Bleeding all over, though. And covered in frost. Right, but he's stabilized. I actually have no idea how much health he had. I completely forget. We also discovered that the symbol on the map that kind of looks like a Metapod, the Pokemon, uh, is also on his <laughs> rope. You can't say Pokemon on the podcast. We have to pay for that. Oh, yeah, that's true. No, The Pocket Monster reference. Metapod. Yes, you do. 
You know, you probably can't you say Mad 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 have to pay for a reference. What if you say Mickey Mouse? Uh, Disney will fucking get you. Why would you say that? Because I want to We're see. We're getting shut down find already. Out. All three listeners to this <laughs> podcast are going to be really angry. <laughs> I'm already angry, and I make up a third of the listeners. Come on. Um, did so we find some fuck, stuff? Holy fuck, Kaido, seriously. Come on, dude. Stop raping the cat. You know it's all going in your drink, right? <sighs> no, it's not. There's only one here and there. That's oh, yeah. Just one. Okay. So, let's start this off. Um, didn't Sully find some stuff in the wagon, but... Yeah, he was robbing about it. it. Champ. Champ. What was in there? Champ. I forget. Champ. You need to pump the brakes, right? And brakes and pump. Why does she need to pump the brakes? Huh? Because she, she like doesn't was... need to worry about what I was doing in the wagon. Okay. I mean, it was pretty obvious and really fucking <clears throat> annoying. Jumped into the wagon. <laughs> Jumped into the wagon that is teetering, about to fall into a hole, while Bairn and Anasopter are trying to keep Mr. it. Mr. Mr. We're, we're all in this together, and we should all have an oath for each other. Seriously. Okay, so where are we at right now? So I've gone off to retrieve my block broadsword, or longsword, that went flying off into the distance because of a very bad critical miss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And I've now come back to the unconscious dude. Uh, all right, so you are all standing still in the clearing. You, there's a horse that's mildly freaking out. I walk towards the horse. Can you chill? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm doing. While I'm chilling, I'm walking towards the horse. Um, attached to a wagon. The guy's still unconscious. All the bodies on the field are gone because they've been dragged away. And okay, there's still a large crater in the ground directly behind the wagon. I grab the unconscious guy and drag him off into the woods. I want to let you be um, hey, there's like some stuff. Sully! Whoa! How dare you! <laughs> How dare I what? <laughs> you were in the cart more... the whole time! I was in the cart for a little bit of time. No! The whole time! <laughs> I'm so sorry. How dare you! I this is what ha- How dare you! I this is what happened when fucking Kayuta's away. God damn it, I'm deaf. I didn't realize. I forgot. I- I'm sorry. I forgot about weight and stuff. I thought- no! I was yelling at you the whole time. How dare you break the covenant? But look how strong your muscles are. I thought you'd be fine. Let- no. Let's move the recorder over a little bit. Just clo- closer to Alan. So now all of our listeners are deaf. Angry. Probably. I'm mildly uncomfortable. But look how big your muscles are. I thought, look how skinny I am. I'm so sorry. If you weren't a woman, I would I eat you. Whoa. Him. So I take the body off into the woods. The unconscious guy off into the Can woods. Can we stop this shit? Because I'm going to get cat hair in my drink. It's already coming in this direction. <laughs> Kayuno! You're what fucking it? covered in cat hair! <laughs> look at this shit! Like look at this! <laughs> Come on. You're I'm basically your a cat now. Like you, you're just a cat. Right you now. have more <laughs> hair from a cat on you than yeah. hair of a human. Oh, well, we all know who's vacuuming the house this week. Or probably. Uh, probably. Yeah, probably steps so there. Annie goes off to the horse. These two are bickering yeah. like an old married couple, and I have the unconscious guy dragged off from the woods. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, are you gonna? Um, That's fine. Just cut his head off. I mean, he's still alive. <laughs> Let's pump the brakes. Maybe we should talk Let, Let's pump the brakes. Uh, yeah. It's a dwarf. I'm so sorry. I, th- I thought you are I thought you're like the strongest person. You're out of the covenant. You're out of it. Damn. It's a covenant well, we now? Are oh, you guys are whatever. Right? Uh, whatever. Whatever it is. Whatever. The well, Black we, Raven? We, 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 you're out of the fellowship. You're out of the fellowship. But we made an oath. I know. You, you're and break. you broke that oath. He's an oath breaker. No, I didn't You're know. the oath breaker now. Mm. When did I break my oath? The oath breaker. Jamie, I'm going to need you to You're like Boromir. You are Boromir right now. What's wrong with that? What Thinking that you, you want to now... steal the precious preciousness away from the fellowship. What preciousness? I was <laughs> there making sure there was no one there. Alan, there. roll a d20 to save against the Earth Oathbreaker curse. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. We didn't get dice. Wow, we fail. Yeah, that's right. You guys didn't get dice. So, can I that's go on dice? That's not fucking dice. I would like to take this moment to say that I took a shot of vodka... And it was quite smooth. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was really smooth. fucking smooth. It was, smooth. Smooth. It was yes. not like that to play off. You're welcome for discovering that vodka. <laughs> uh, well, no, I think vodka in general is pretty smooth unless you go with fucking what? aristocrat, and that was that, was that should not have been invented. Smirnoff's really? not vodka. Taka. Yeah, okay, taka. Wait, what did we buy the other time? Aristocrat's worse the than time taka. Before I bought the time before I covered this. Taka's like two dollars. Pinnacle. pinnacle. It's oh, like no, just no, no, they grab a potato, squeeze it, and put it in a fucking bottle. Yeah, we bought the pinnacle, and the pinnacle wasn't great. All right, pinnacle was much. okay. Vodka, okay. Vodka that's that's like it's still a lot is going to be smooth. So you just find one of the like a high okay, distillery. Okay, whatever. D twenty right. for you. I, I mean, really, that has a pretty high alcohol yours? content for. I already have all of my stuff. I really need to throw out that um. 
Oh, what you call it? Franzia. Oh, Franzia. Yes, you do need to throw out the Franzia because it's taking it's up so vinegar. much room. Because it's vinegar now. Because <laughs> it's vinegar and it's taking That's up all the room inside the liquor cabinet. What is that? What is that? I love cat magnet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that made sense. Okay, so <laughs> which one are we doing first? <laughs> Amasopter with the horse, these two bickering so more. He's trying to roll oh, a d20. Yeah. He's rolling a d20 to save against the curse. The oath breaking curse. What curse? The oath breaker curse? The oath breaker curse. What happens if he fails this? You you decided to join the fellowship and then you broke the oath. I don't, I don't the think fellowship. I broke the oath. You the broke fellowship. the oath. The the oath was to defend each other and no, you the oath was to say was so to say this no. give him like a no, minus five no, diplomacy and I mean, that was part of it, but you like no. ignored completely Bluff. ignored the other part. Wait, it's how, gonna give him. Now, it's not gonna give him any minus to block. It's gonna give him a minus to all the diplomacy checks, and everyone's gonna know that he's gonna be like breaker. So there's an oath breaker check. And does this like? If you How fail, if you fail the save, meaning if you get less than a ten, then do I get any pluses? No, I don't get diplomacy. Then from now this on, you have hard. a minus two to your diplomacy check indefinitely. So it's Sally Terra Scourge, the Oathbreaker. Damn. The Oathbreaker. Okay, okay. We need the box. The Oathbreaker. <laughs> well, I don't like this. Get the box. Yeah. Get the box. <laughs> get the box. Wait, Al, what did you do to deserve this? Oh. He broke the okay. In the right. middle of the fight, the while oath. they were all fighting, numerous enemies, Al decides to go off on his own and go look for treasure. He does that no, no, well, no, no. I wasn't he looking for treasure. In- I, went in the, oh, I, went in the, I went in the fucking, like, um, in the carriage. That we were all trying to pull out of a sinkhole. Which you were right. adding weight this to. This carriage was falling into a sinkhole, and instead of helping pull out the carriage, while... Well, Justin and Anasopter were trying to pull the carriage out of the sinkhole. Alan decides to climb inside of the carriage while they were both holding on to and it. And started looting. And started looting. No. To be, to be fair, you guys all now you have to assume that he's going to do the right thing. To be <laughs> unfair, the game two sessions ago, Alan decided to join the entire party in an oath that said that they would all stay true and protect each other. I didn't say protect. I you said, said we'd all stay true to each other. And defend each other. And defend each other. Right. And then you left them all to I... themselves. Right. I would like to point out. So, before, as, a, okay, as before, a bystander, do you think that this ruling is okay. fair? Uh, for anyone listening, I stopped playing Pathfinder because of this asshole over here. <laughs> He's so. pointing at Sally <laughs> Terror Scourge. Okay. 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 okay, okay. Before before I make the roll, I'm trying to rescind uh, Baron's uh, claim of Oathbreak on me. Okay. Um, Dude, they had like Mr. Dorf. They had like the guy was yelling, and he had shackles, and he was ordering people. I don't want to hear your shit. I, was, I, I thought there was. I, I thought there were slaves in there. I was trying to free people. You're an oathbreaker, me. Bluff. Roll bluff check. I mean, okay. I'll roll bluff check. Can you move your hands? I, I'm, I'm gonna uncom- I'm comfortable with your hands there. Oh. I thought you couldn't <laughs> bluff check and get uh, PCs. You guys are bluff check. You can't intimidate. Can't intimidate. You can I, I I don't believe him. Wow. Okay. Barely. You got okay. 15. 25. But I don't believe him 25 at all. There's no pluses. Like, I already There's don't no, believe no, him. No, no, There's no, 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 like, inkling. Like, I might believe him. Oh, so this isn't the Oathbreaker role. This is the... This is... He's okay. bluffing. This is him bluffing. Oh, all right. I wouldn't all right, just make fine. Don't believe him. Whatever. I don't believe you. All right. Rolled Oathbreaker. Oh my god, I really hope this hits a nine. This is straight up, like, the most dysfunctional group I've ever seen. This is... No, it, no, it, it, I was not. It, it was out of the box. box. Guys, it, it, it also I'll you, hit my I'll give you plus one. Now, if you get if you get lower than that, was 11, a natural twenty that bounced off eight. my elbow. It didn't land in the box. It doesn't count. Ten, fucking ten. Okay, fine. Okay, huh. you right. go. Be forewarned. If this happens again, you are gonna have to make that roll again. You already know what oh, but so. won't you have to make a minus one to the roll then? Mm, what? No. If he does it again because it's a repeat offense? No, it's just he's broke breaker next time. <laughs> no, he said he's got hey, all game. Hey, I don't think you're the DM and B suck a dick. Uh, the, I, I mean, it's up, to the, it's up to the, the group that you made the oath with. I'm not there. But technically, he's still only one member of the group. Right. So. There's no way in hell you guys are going to solve this like problem. That you're <laughs> we actually had somebody last game that was just like... You guys bicker a lot. <laughs> you should have heard like the hour long bickering between these two over a goddamn lantern. Yeah, yep, that I that's got. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> yep. Again, that's why I don't play and just watch. All right. So, anyway, and horse. Sartre, the horse. What are you doing? Um. So the horse is freaking out, right? I want to try to calm the horse down. Should mm. I roll a diplomacy or a nature check? Nature check. All right. So I'm gonna be like horse whisperer over here. Six plus, hang on. Uh, 13. 13. Total 13? Total 13. Um, the horse is still weary of you. You can wait. Okay. 
Um, I slowly approach the horse very calmly. I'm taking small steps. I put out my hand, so I, I don't know. Horse would only be approaching behind. It'll no, I'm, I'm, in, I'm at his face. I'm okay. at his face. I'm slowly approaching him. I just try and get closer and closer and closer to him until he feels uncomfortable. But I'm very slow. I'm very, like, calm. Okay. Does the he horse s- love me yet? He, like, shy- he still shies away from you. Is there a carrot or an apple anywhere? Do you have a carrot or apple in your bag? There is grass on the ground. Oh, okay. And <laughs> there is no... Uh, the only vegetation around is grass. And I some, like, dandelions and stuff. Pick up some grass from the ground and put it, like, on my flat of my hand. Put my hand out. I'm like, horsey, love me. I want to take you as my own. Okay, he tentatively uh, responds and he, like, starts to eat the grass out uh, your hand. Okay, I just continue on trying to have the horse warm up to me. Okay. Sweet. So you can, you're going to roll two more nature checks. Okay. Um, you're going to get a plus three for feeding it, so just add three. And, uh... Plus my nature... Yeah, you're going to try and beat a 16. 16? With either one of them. So, 11, 14, 21. Okay. So that's one. All right. I have to roll another one? Uh, no. You, like, just spend some time, and you, like, brush it a little bit, you feed it some more grass, and eventually it, like, starts to, like, warm up to you. Okay. Um, can I... He's still hooked up to the wagon? He's still hooked up to the wagon, and the wagon's still on the edge of the, um... The edge of the pit. Does he have, like, a bridle on, like, uh, mm-hmm. something I can hold on to? Yeah, he does. He has a bridle on. The wagon, the wagon has, like, a seat. It's like a, it's like a wagon, like, or not like a wagon. It's like a, like a, ca- uh, a carriage, like a covered wagon. So, like, it has, like, the, the part in the back that's, like, the covered part. Then there's a seat up front, and the seat is, like, attached to the reins that are attached to the horse. And the horse is, like, a bridle and is attached to the wagon. Okay, so still doing everything very, like, slowly and calmly. I unhook him. From the wagon, but I'm holding on to his reins or, or the bridle thing. I don't know what it's called. Thing that you hold on to. Okay. And, reins. Um, no. And yeah, I just kind of... That's all I really wanted to do. I just want to spend some time with the horse and have him warm up to me. And we can be friends. And then I can have two animal pets. <laughs> you can't have this in my own companion. That's fine. I just okay. wanted to ride and do you be want ride? awesome with. Oh, wait, no. Ride's not a skill in this. It is but you not, have to, but I a, think knowledge of nature also is also... But like, isn't there a feat where you have to, like, that. that you have to get in order to ride an animal? Or If you want to ride it, like, just jump on it and ride it. I don't think there's a feat. I think it's just a knowledge of nature check. Oh, no. I'm thinking of mounting combat uh, that you don't take a Yeah, uh, I think in 4 it's not... Riding isn't a skill, so you can yeah. just do it. I think, yeah, you can just do it. You have to take a mounted combat feat if you want to... In order to, like, attack normally. Right. Yeah, but you can, you can ride it, you can, like, drive a carriage and drive a wagon, and you can ride a horse. Well, I don't want to ride him right now, because I still feel like he probably... I don't know, he's not totally warmed up to me yet, right? Okay. Out of game, there's also another mouth we have to feed. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, he's a horse. I'll feed him. But if he dies, I'm eating him. Mm-hmm. This is all the way out of game. Why are you going to eat the horse? He's I don't know, I want to eat the bird. He's a dragon. I want to eat the bird, I want to eat the horse. You're mean. Okay, so Stay away from next? me, my animals. This is our game. You don't know what's um, happening. I look at Crib, I'm like, hey, Crib. You don't, you don't see me, though. I'm already in the woods. You two are dead. He already, he took oh, the body and he, he walked off in the woods. Or oh. he took the alive person. It's not a body. It's a person. Yeah. But he, like, the, threw the person the over his shoulder party. and walked off into the woods while you two were bickering. Okay. Did they see that? Okay, if I um, can see it in character. Roll a stealth check. What are you going to do to the dead body? Probably cut off They're his head. They're about to find From out. From now on, any roll that falls out of the box Five. or isn't rolled in the box, Okay, it so he's count. not stealthy. Five total? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you both you both see it. Like, okay. as you're bickering to each other, he just walks... Like, he did it in the beginning of you bickering. He actually said it before you guys started bickering to each other that he picked up the body. Well, someone screamed at me, so I, I, I may have forgotten right. some Right, but... Before you guys got into your squabble, he, he like, grabbed the guy, threw him over his shoulder, and walked off okay. into the forest. As I'm yelling at Sully, I notice him walking into the forest with the guy. You guys uh, were still bickering after I went in. Okay. Um, You're not well, going to matter your way through this. Well, once, once me and Baron, I, once Baron he stops yelling at me, he told me that I see you do this. Yeah, but you're still in the process of bickering. Right, but this is after the fact. So right. I'm addressing this now. Okay, okay, go ahead. I'm still so, yelling at him, but I am now well, addressing No, I think, we're, uh, I think you're John, done yelling at me. You get two actions... Before you want to well, wait till you come are back, you going to, are you going to confront him about this? Yes. Okay. 
You're gonna get you're gonna get two actions before he catches up to you. So you can do two things, and then he okay. will come. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on. So if he wants to yell and scream or whatever he wants to do, so you're still you're gonna get one action, and then you can hear him. But you're still gonna get another action before he actually catches okay. up to where you are. Hold on. So we have first thing that happens is. Kriv takes the body and leaves. Then immediately after, Baron and I... Almost Baron simultaneous. Starts... Okay, so Kriv takes the body and leaves. As he is hoisting the body and beginning to walk away... Baron starts, Baron yelling, at starts me. yelling at you. And then, at the same time as that, Anasakra goes to the horse and starts calming it down. Almost simultaneously, she goes over to the horse and starts feeding the horse. Okay. This is all happening at the same time. Okay, so I imagine now, since fucking Kaido's not talking, Baron is done yelling at me. Um, and Anasakra is still with the horse... So okay. all can, I, can I act right now? I'm, I'm talking. Yeah, so I mean, he's just, himself. he's, as long as, he, like, if you are doing an action, he's going first. <laughs> Did you just fart? No, like, he's what? trying to fucking I sneeze. Tell if it was a fart. Stop holding it in, just let it happen. Yeah. You don't think about it. Okay. Think about it. Anyway. Fine. He has a weird smile right. when he farts. <laughs> yeah, so he I notice Kriv walking to the forest <laughs> with the guy over his shoulder, and... Like, I say, hey, Kriv, where are you going with that guy? I still have two actions, though. You have one action. And then you hear him say, hey, where are you going with that guy? And then you have another action. Okay. My first action, I'm going to find a thick tree that's wider than the man, and I'm going to prop him up against the tree. Uh, Okay. So your first action is going towards the tree, and then you drop the guy against the tree. Okay. And then he yells at you, hey, what are you doing? And you can hear him, and they can clearly see you, because your self-check was a five. Okay. I'm getting information. Okay, and now you get to do one more thing. And if you are walking towards him... I start okay. walking towards him. Okay. So I cut off his him. hands. While he's propped up against the tree. Yeah. All right, he to is wake unconscious. And do, no, uh, that, no, he doesn't have his weapon drawn yet. I have he my had his fucking... weapon drawn from that beginning. Yeah. The end of the fight. Did he? I, had, he did. I went and got my long sword. sword. He had... No, I sheathed my short sword, went and got my long sword, picked up the body, went off into the woods. Shit, I didn't know he had his weapon out. Yeah, shit's gonna get interesting in a second. Uh, okay. You are gonna roll... First you're gonna roll an attack. Is this a cold shot? Oh yeah, um, it's a cold shot. Because you're attacking his wrist. It's, an, it's a cold shot, but it's right, gonna be a really low defend. DC because he's, not def- he's unconscious. Okay. So he's not defending himself. I keep forgetting what my... Oh yeah, it's nine. Okay. Fourteen. Total? Yes. Okay. You hit. Now you're going to roll an attack roll to attempt to... Are you going to roll damage? Damage. Not okay. to 20. To attempt to chop through it's his wrist. 1 to 8 plus 5 plus Wait, you're one. cutting off his hand? Is that what's yeah. happening? Mm-hmm. What? Where's my... 1 to 8. Yeah, I got it. 11 damage. Okay. You cut it clean off, and it just starts bleeding. Okay. Like, bleeding out. Can I, I make, make, can I make a heal check now to stop the bleeding? He catches up to you. Okay. Why would you cut so it you off? So you are and doing it now, and you're acting immediately. Okay. okay. I scream, crib no, and, like, say it, how you it's say already it. done. Say, say how you say, say, say it. Don't, huh? No more yelling. <laughs> <we're gonna pop laughs> like, no more yelling. Um, We've already popped the mic, like, seven times. <laughs> Look, we gotta turn this down, man. Was he yelling the You're not there. Did? You're not there. Don't do it. The decibels aren't gonna change. This motherfucker's gonna get it. This is what it does. What's that? Yes, it does. That's exactly what it does. Okay. That's what the volume is for. While he's yelling, Kriv, no, can I make a heal check to stop the bleeding? Uh, you can try, sure. Oh, well, no, like, while he's while I'm yelling, stop, no, I run up to the body and I start do a heal check on the, like, hand to stop oh, the bleeding. Okay, you guys can do assisted heal checks. All right. Who is taking off? I'm action. doing it. I'm doing He can assist me once, Fine. but I'm fucking doing it. I feel like he's there, so he should be doing it. And you're 21. Assisting. So you add a plus two. You're not in the box. You're not in the box, bro. God damn it. All right, okay. so it sounds like you're assisting, huh? Sounds right, like fine, you're I'm assisting. assisting. I'm assisting. Ten. Um, you ten total? Yeah, ten total. So you add a plus two to his ten total. Twenty-three total. No. You, Kriv, because he oh, said that he was going right. and you were assisting. So you're adding a plus two to You helping him. Twelve. You enforced it. No, no. Well, he enforced it. I, the box is the box, but okay. you said that you were doing. You said you were doing the heel check. That you were taking the. You were taking the twelve the total. I don't know if the okay. Is coming back. Um. So you like. 
you're able to like you like take rip off a piece of his cloak and you like wrap it around and like press it in. To I his stole his hand. cloak. He okay. doesn't have a cloak. Okay. You rip off a piece of his small clothes. There a piece go. of clothes that he has on. I go to pick up his hand. Okay. I go back to the body and I start smacking him in the face with his hand. He's still bleeding a little bit. He may be dead. Though I'm not sure. It's possible that he is dead. We're about to find out. Fuck, I don't even remember how much health this guy had. Really? It's part of my really? beliefs and instincts. I, I understand. I understand. While really... they're doing that... Let me fi- let me finish this, and well, then you can do your thing. Well, Captain DM has to figure out if the guy's fucking dead from that. So, while he does I'm that... i roll percentile dice. Okay. What is it, 50% he's dead, 50% he's alive? Uh, no, there's like a... I'm gonna say 25% chance. Anything lower than a 25, he's dead. Dead. He's dead. It is 15. He is dead. He's bleeding out, and he is... He's dead. Good job, Crib. Thanks for ruining everything. You're no, not there. You don't, know this. you don't know this. You don't know this. That's fine. I have it happen he's, times. I'm going to chop off his, his head. His body goes... His his body is pale, and you like start smacking him in the face with his hand, and Spit he's just... Worst fellowship. Huh. Guess he's dead. I go to chop off the head. No. I throw myself over him, and I try to like resuscitate him as best I can. But he's fucking dead. So. You can attempt to... I'm going to. I'm going to attempt to, because I have to attempt to. I, I roll a fucking 11. Uh, okay. Yes. You plus 8? Yeah. Yes. I plus 10. You attempt to heal check him, and like every time you press down on him, More blood the rag down. around his arm just gets wetter and wetter. It sounds like the movie Blood Rain. Remember that, Alan? Fucking horrendous. Okay. Why? I asked Bear to step aside. I refuse. I'll go through you. You will. You can try. Oh. Oh, I see. Are you guys really yeah. supposed to like accomplish anything together? Oh. They were supposed to. I really don't. They were supposed well. to. We were supposed to. We let the guy alive, but no. Mm-hmm. While, this, sure, while this sure, is sure, happening, sure really I I assume Anasoptera is still petting the horse. She's see, this would have been fine, and I would have stopped the bleeding. You tried if to you didn't come. Me. Okay, I'm gonna you go. killed the man. Hang on, we are having two you conversations at once. Their conversations are pointless. So I'm gonna, I, I would like to. It's not pointless. Everything matters. Okay. Regardless if I cut the man or not, you let him die. You're lawful good and you let that man die. Doesn't matter if he was attacking us. You let someone die that you could have saved. You good save job. Him. Instead, he decided to yell at me. You could have saved him. But you're being arrogant again. No. I, ta- not, that, I no, toss the hand on the his own fault. I toss the hand on the body on and I walk right Everything back to falls the falls on you. Yeah. No, yeah. I reach up and slap your shit. He tosses the hand on the body and walks away. No, before he does that, I reach up and slap his shit. What? You're lawful good. You don't do that shit. No, I did that because you just did something that was completely not lawful good. He is not. I understand that, but I'm mad at him for not doing that. Roll an attack. Okay. Non-lethal since you're trying to slap. Right, I'm just slapping your shit. <laughs> Chan, hit him with like the... 20. The hand. Natural 20. I'm going to say he hits. Okay. Probably. He smacks you. Roll your damage. With a, a th- what die is four it? for unarmed. Isn't it die three for unarmed? It's it's, well, it's, it's not lethal. It doesn't even fucking matter. Four. It's non-lethal. Non-lethal. Four non-lethal. Four non-lethal. Four non-lethal. Four non-lethal. Fucking, I slapped shit really hard. He slapped the shit. He slaps you. He reaches up and he smacks you. Fall out. We I left him in. alive. We left him alive. I left him alive. We left him alive. We fight and now he's dead. We're a fellowship or a unit now. You're not there. This is the I'm, worst. I'm, I'm, tell, I'm telling you. I turn around and backhand Bear. I'm not, I'm not even a sugar coat. You guys suck. Like You guys aren't going to get anything done. 15? Yep. Uh, what's your flat footed AC? My flat foot. I, dude, it doesn't even list this shit. This is a terrible fucking leader? character sheet. It's fine. You just he take your. Combat. Uh, actually, I think it's. He doesn't even calculate decks. Someone with common sense who's maybe like trying to get right. Oh, it doesn't even calculate so dex, so job, it'll be... Yeah, that's right, it, there's no flat-footed and shit. What? It's against your it's uh, reflex. She just oh, it's against my reflex? reflex. Okay. You guys need to murder the 15, so I probably didn't die. Tie? Go to PC. I'll leave right, a fellowship if you do that. We're both PC. It goes to the attacker. Ties go to the attacker. Does it really? Actually, the rules of the, of the game is is that if you, if you match or beat a defense, you hit. Really? Yeah. The what? actual rules of D&D are. That, that's the reverse. Rolling damage? That's totally reverse. Four. Four non-lethal. Oh, so we tie on damage. Okay. And I turn around and I backhand you, and I'm like, hey, guess what? He's dead. Deal with it. Dead. And I walk back to the carriage. While they are bitching, go ahead, and bitch slapping, huh. I go up to Annie, and I say, 
Uh, let's see how I shall phrase this. Do you actually say that? No. I think that. But I don't say Okay. Say, oh, Annie, Annie. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry about hopping in the carriage. But I thought there might be some slaves in there. Because that guy looked like a slave master. <laughs> I've seen so many slave masters in my time. And he looked just like one. <laughs> and his robes. Oh, man, his robes. They looked terrifying. Where he but there weren't any slaves in there. Guess what I found, though? A treasure chest. You like treasure, don't you? There's a treasure chest in there. Let's go get it. You didn't go uh, far to get the chest to me because we did. No, I know. You, yes, I you did, did two actions. You took one it out with after you, you pulled up. You so we're really not that far away. It. Oh, okay. Look, look at this treasure chest I found. Okay, so we're gonna get look back it. before Let's he tries to rob us. You like opening yes. things, okay. right? I have a proposition. You guys split all the treasure between you three. I keep the horse. What? Perfect deal. But Perfect. we don't even know what's in there. Okay, that's fine. Wait, yeah. Are they, are they okay, open it. Can you open it for me? Hey, please open it. Hey, why am I suddenly the opener? First thing stinks. It's a gold for just you two. They don't even know what the fuck's going on. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe you should make it your instincts. Have I made it back? Can I change it's that open. one? Before we get back. Okay. Have I made it back exactly. by now? You have the good ship before you get back. Annie, 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 open it, open it, open it. No, Why you am guys I are bickering for a while. Huh? You like the whole thing, right? Is. Or can you unlock it? I'll open it. We're going to lock it. Is it locked? Is it just a lock? I'm trying to open it. Okay, fine. It has a lock on it. Okay. Annie, can you break the lock? I'm afraid if I try and break it, I'll blow up the whole box. Andy, please, please. I don't know how to react to this. horse. Andy, Andy, Andy. How would you Andy. react to I think Andy, Andy. I don't know. I'm suspicious. Andy, Andy, Andy. Why are you Andy, suspicious? Because I think... Andy, I keep poking her like knowing, this. <laughs> knowing Sally, Andy, I feel Andy, like Andy, he's going... As soon as Andy, I pick up Andy, the... Uh, Andy, <clears throat> As soon as I pick up the treasure chest, he's going to take the horse away from me. Because I feel like that's something that Sally would do. The horse is literally tied to a carriage. No, I... She untied it. She untied it? Yeah, she's like holding the reins. Or the bridle. Oh. I I don't even notice that there's a horse there. I just talk to her, however that affects her perception of me. But I don't understand why I'm the one unlocking it. Do I have a better... I I don't really have anything to unlock it with. Oh, I have thievery. Do you have that as a skill? Yeah. I'm afraid that if I try and use magic on it, I'll blow up the chest and break it Oh, no, thievery isn't one of my skills, but I have it. Seriously. Okay, well, everybody has it, but if it doesn't have a check next to it, it's not one of your skills. You can still attempt to use it. You probably are the best person suited to use it if you're going to attempt it, but... I don't really know if you can try to pick a lock without being trained in thievery. Or having thieves tools. Or having the used tools in the lock pit. Right. You can try and bust the lock with something if you want to s- try and smack it a bunch until it breaks. The last game we tried that, my weapon almost broke. So, Sally, yeah, I cracked. am not a locksmith. I actually can't open locks. So we can try smashing it with some rocks and stuff. Oh. Oh. Okay. I feel, I, I, I feel very sad. Why? I thought, I, I, I thought I she just, could do it. I'm just kind of overwhelmed and confused by this conversation. Okay. So, uh, okay. have I returned? Do you, do, you, do you think we can find any rocks around here to break it? Yeah, give me a second. Let's try and break it before okay. Van and the dragon come back. Um, the dragon Wait, why, starts to walk Why don't back. we all open it together? So we can surprise them. But I don't think that would be a surprise. Everyone likes surprises. It's like presents. Why does he sound like a ten year old? Okay, we're back Jeez. now by now, right? Alright, you so haven't said whether or not you started walking back or what you're doing with the body. Out of game. Baron, I saw or Crib has started walking back. Okay, well Crib has started walking back, that's fine. Can I just say that real quick? So out of game, so one of my beliefs is supposed to be that I get very excited by surprises. But obviously it doesn't work well for me, so maybe I need to change that. It's too late. It's already set in stone. Hey, um, hey guy. But it's, it's, not, it's guy. not working well for me. Like, obviously, that's yeah, not Yeah, but gonna... you can't keep changing your instincts or beliefs to make yourself get more XP. Like, you can't keep doing it to well, I mean, benefit yourself. Right. Okay. Just try and RP it a little bit better. I mean, what do you mean it's not I mean, working out for you? RPing. Like, uh, that's how I wanted my character to be, but that's not how I react to I don't know. That's what RPing is about. Yeah, like doing well, things. Playing that the you, role of your. Can so kind of you gone up to the loudest now? Well, just yeah. try it. Just try He's it. gone up to the loudest in one instance, not necessarily. Just be more excited overall. about surprises. New Fine. things. Fair enough. The way that you are about animals, be like that about surprises. I'm as well. really, really excited about the horse, and I was really excited about the floating lantern. Okay. But I am not as excited about the random treasure chest that you found when you jumped into the carriage. Okay. You're supposed okay. To be helping us. All right. Because so, that's not really a surprise. I have these books. Shits and carriages all the time. I have these books. I'm going to look through these books, and I'm going to try and figure out if I can open the chest somehow. You try and find some rocks. 
or or let, let me know if either Baron or the Dragon come back. They're really strong. They can probably open this thing, right? Right, right, right. Okay. I'm gonna go through my Kriv books. Kriv is walking so back I, now. I sit down and I start opening my books. Back. I'm reading my books. I read my books looking for the answer. So I arrive back where these two are. Okay. While they're doing their stuff, I go back to the body, collect the parts. And bring it next to the whole. There's only two pieces: the main there. body it's, and the hand. It's the body and the hand. You collect right. the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. parts. Part. Right. Jesus Christ. Right. Right. That's, that's what I mean by the parts. So you walk, you walk back to the hole a few minutes, or a few, a little bit after Crip gets back. Okay. What, Alan? Stop raising your hand. Can you close the, the fucking thing? Yeah. Can somebody go close that? Yeah, I'll do it. He's not looking. No, I just don't like it. All right. What are you doing? Step. Um, so Sally just hands me the treasure chest, and I'm just kind of like, I, so... I, I throw it on the floor. In the oh, okay, so I'm just kind of like, I don't know, I don't know what to do now. I'm sitting down next to it, going through books, trying to figure out if there's a way to open the lock. Alright, I inspect it. I'll roll a perception check. See if there's any something on it. Um, a lot. Like, 25. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. 25. <laughs> All right. It is a treasure chest. It's a, it's a wooden chest. It's like a wooden square box. And it, like, has a hinge and it opens up. And it has a small, uh, like, a small metal lock on it. A really, like, a very small lock. It's not a huge thing. It's, like, um, maybe, like... One and a half feet wide by... Maybe, like, a foot wide by, like, two and a half feet like long it's like a small like little box and it has a, a small a small metal lock on it all right so um i guess i will smash it so first i'll bring the horse over to a tree and tie him on it hopefully not to there. the wagon that he was already tied to <laughs> no because i want him to be near grass Okay. So he can munch the wagon's away. still intact. Munch, munch, by munch, the way, munch, munch, like munch. the w- the wheels aren't broken, it's still in, in an intact wagon. Just FYI. Is there grass near the yeah. wagon? There's grass all over this area. It's a clearing, but it's not like a dead clearing. Um, Actually, the clearings would have more grass like than the actual field. forest would. Right. So it's like open field. forest. All right. I mean, I'll just tie him somewhere. Okay. So I just tie That's him fine. somewhere. You like bring him over to a tree, you walk over to a tree, and then you tie him there. Craig, what are you doing? Wait, but I wasn't. I back. just. That's fine. He was walking back when you started walking the oh. horse to the tree. Okay, so I show up. I see her walking the horse to the tree, and I see her over here reading books. Right. I found nothing. These books are all about history. It's not going to help me open a lock. What lock? This lock. I look at the chest. You want me to smash it? No, you might break what's inside. You can't break what's inside. Can you just break the lock and not break the chest? Can you? I can, can, try. You, can you? Can you? I can try. Can, can, can you? All right. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Please don't yell at me. Start walking. You're, you're Are you like a Japanese schoolgirl or something? Now. Jesus yes. Christ. Okay. okay. Um, so, as I approach the hole... Um, you're like walking out of the forest. You see her tying a horse up to a tree and them two standing next to the wagon, like, talking to each other. And okay. like you're walking towards them. I'll look around okay. for a picture. Um, well, yeah. Uh, like, if they're over here and the holes over here, I walk toward the hole. Okay. Um, All right. So you walk past them towards the hole. Right. And you fall in. <laughs> I'll look for a rock big enough to fit in my hand perfectly. Okay. So you go over to the forest line and start looking for a rock. Does Should I make a nature have... check? No, just do a perception check. Okay. Does Crib have bigger hands than? A human, like, does he have like really big hands, like dragon hands? Mm, yeah, there are less fingers, and they're scaly. Not crib, not Baron. Right. Yeah. So oh, did I say Baron? Yes. Yeah. I meant crib. Okay. Fourteen total. Um, when I get to the hole, I lay the body down in like a sort of ceremonial pose, the, big, the best the, of the can. The big like, hole? Missing a hand. Right. Missing a hand. I put the hand where it should be. <laughs> <laughs> you just try and tap. He just like, right. yeah. I, I don't know, like, man. I don't know, man. I'm face. not. A, I'm not a, like a, a fucking mortician or anything. <laughs> I'm just doing what I think I'm supposed to be doing. An undertaker, right? Like I'm not one of those guys. I, I just put the body down. Okay. Um. Before I like leave, I inspect the body and see if there's anything like unusual on it, like any like notes of paper, or, like. Whatever. No, uh, the robe. It doesn't even have its like over robes because Sally's wearing them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, 
I like robes. I like clothes. So there isn't anything on the body except for like his his underclothes. Right. Okay. Well, I stand up, have a moment of silence, and then walk back to the party. Wait, okay. isn't that the ant hole? So the ants yes. are. Gonna, oh. So you want the ants to come take? Right. It? Lawful good, everyone. That is lawful good. Yeah. I'm, I mean, that kind of makes sense. I it back to, the, to nature. To the earth. Do I see him right. playing the body over there? Yeah. Wait. You're too busy playing with rocks. Wait. Got it. I have an idea. Oh man. Who idea. are you saying this? Andy, look at this. Um, okay, so you're all together now, right. hearing each other. Look at this. this clearing. And I hold my hand out, and I say some words, and I go like, Prestige Station! And then like a little like magical lockpick hops in my hand. <gasps> Porsches! <laughs> That's why I find a rock while he's doing this. It's quite small. But I mean, if none of us have the thievery skill, we still can't open it, right? You can't use a lockpick now. Um, and I'm like, hey, can you use this thing? Any, 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 can you use this thing? Try and open the thing. Um, I'll try. But I'm telling you now that I've never lockpicked anything before in my life, and I can't. I don't locks. think that your illusions are I can tangible. tangible. Yeah, are they I usable? can create small things. You can create small things, but I'm pretty sure you create them as illusions. Create out of nothing. It's a small item or image that exists until the end of your next turn. Right. Item sounds tangible. Item or image, and it's small. DM rolling final decision. Yeah, that's on you. You want the box? If not, I my own box. if not, if not a um, a lock pick, like, I maybe like a a, a giant file yeah, or something. Okay. Ooh, zombie catch. Yeah, that's a better box. Uh, okay. You can. Can you try and figure this out? Figure it out. Figure it out. Okay. Um, out of game, if you could press to digitize a lock pick, why didn't you just press to digitize a key that fit? Huh? Because then I would have to know, he, like the inner. You'd have to, know, have to know how the how right. the lock works. Then he doesn't. All right, so I take the lock pick and I'm going to attempt to open it. I'm conf- okay. So if I technically can't lock pick anything and I just roll a thievery check, what actually happens? Nothing. You get a plus one for my lock pick. Oh, whatever your dex is, it gets calculated into your roll. And then plus one for my lock pick. I guess plus one for uh, thievery. For I think thievery is a skill that can't be used untrained. I don't think that exists in 4E. Yeah, that doesn't exist in 4E. For lock picking, maybe. We'll maybe stealing up. stuff that's like sitting Go out ahead. will be fine. Because thievery is like supposed to be sleight of hand and stealth? Because I don't think there even is a stealth check. Oh, there's there a stealth is check. a stealth check. So thievery is supposed to be like sleight of hand plus lock picking plus disable device all together in one. And right. I don't think that you can disable device or lock pick. Right, but that's 3.5. This is 4E. Right. The DM might decide that some uses of this skill are so specialized that you require to be trained in it to have a chance of succeeding. Seriously, bro? Seriously, Seriously? that's what it says. Seriously, bro? So, what nope. do you require, DM? Just fucking bullshit. completely no... Total fucking bullshit. Bro, so you want to read it? Wait, no, right. no, I know. I'm saying that's bullshit. Bullshit. So, it goes up to your ruling? Just no stance on it. Thanks. No Thanks just story. house rule it. You know, just do whatever. Yeah, man. just like, why don't you just house rule everything now? No, it's not house okay, ruling. Right. I gave her tools so she should be able to use it. No, tools, like, tools with no bonuses. She has no bonuses. It is his decision she has whether or not thievery is skilled or non-skilled. Well, I understand that. Can you Which is bullshit. Well, no, no, no. I don't think thiever, I don't think that the issue was thievery being trained or not. No, I think, yes, it was. No, I think, I think it's the application of thievery. That right, it's the application that, that of thievery, thievery, thievery that requires thievery itself to be trained. Or not. Okay. So, disable. What I was saying was disable device, and because these are all disable device, open lock, and sleight of hand are all mashed into one feat now, um, or into one skill now. That some of the applications of it are required to be trained in it. But fucking, if the the player's handbook says DM decide, then go ahead, you can try it. But just FYI, the thievery DC for <laughs> opening a lock is 20. Oh, okay. And you get a plus two for using thieves' tools. You're going to get a plus one for using the made up tool. Um, so you have to roll 15 or higher. Okay. Don't gonna you? Give it a and try, if you roll silly. Less than, less than half of it, which means if you roll less than a five. You botch it and break the lock, and it stays locked. Okay. It stays locked, or we have to smash the lock the chest inside you breaks. Smash, you have to smash the chest. You have to smash the lock or smash it somehow. And what's the DTC to, to take open. to smash that some bitch? Uh, I'll tell you later. But if you get higher than a ten, 
Oh, twenty. Hey, crit. Hey, crit. Hey, crit. Actual twenty. So guess what? Whatever you say, is you had to let her roll. Yeah. The one that has the broken ass rolls well, all the should time. be happy. Ooh. I'm happy, but what the fuck? Uh, Every uh, time. Okay, that's it. Just after being Amy, excited. Amy, 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 did you figure it out? Amy, okay, did you figure it out? Hacks. Hacks. She pops the lock open, and then she does that fucking weird <laughs> yeah. dance. Yeah. Like, Andy, what are you doing? Andy, are you okay? <laughs> Andy, what's, what's she going looks like on? She's having a seizure. Everybody, she's having a seizure. Andy, Andy, no, no. <laughs> I ignore her, and I go over the chest and look at it. I open you don't know it, the, You don't know that the lock's open. You just I, see her start to have this mild seizure. <laughs> okay, I walk uh, over, I look at her, and I look at her. And before Chris the gets there, do I notice that she opens the chest? Roll perception. Excellent. I'll roll perception as well. He doesn't give a fuck about you. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, do, My perception do, do, do. is so low. 20. All right, you see it, Alan. Chan, you have to be at 15. Because you're at the 15. other fucking side. He's on the brink. It's a tie. I said you have to beat a 15. He said that beats beat a 15. A, no, no, no. A 15 doesn't beat a 15. A 15 ties a 15. Right, which beats a 15. Which no. I did to him and Big No, no, no. Stop. Like, it's like, it's like under, It goes to the attacker. No, He's attacking with his perception. Okay, you see Sally open the case. Okay, I notice that the it. case is open, and I say, ooh, look, open. And I just, I swing it open. No. Yeah, so you, okay. I just, I just right. swing it open. I'll walk over to Sally. I'm still like, just doing a little dance. Open. While she's dancing, I'm, I'm so excited that there's something to open, and I just throw throw the fucking case open. Throw okay. the case open? No, like, you want to do that? No, okay. I'll grab the top, and I'll swing it open. Okay. This is going to end well. Uh, I just sit there like, yeah. All right. How how much fervor do you put in throwing this case fervor? open? Fervor? Uh, an excited amount of fervor, however much um, you want to weigh that. All right, so you like throw the case open. It is, inside of it is like a shit ton of straw. <laughs> um, from what you can see is like a there's like a bunch of straw in there and you see like a little thing like popping out like a few little things popping out of the straw my eyes get wide and I grab all the things and I look at them alright you can't fit them all in your hand okay I grab the closest one look at it alright it's a bunch of vials there's a bunch of like uh, they're like bulbous like vials they're not like the size of a hand but they're like they're the smaller, so you could probably fit like two in your hand at a time. Okay. Um, and they, they're like, they have like, like cork stoppers in them. There's also a like a little pouch inside of there, uh, inside. Okay. There's like this little, there's like a pouch, and then there's uh. So, I will kneel. There's six, six vials in there. I will kneel Four in front of, them of it. Okay, sorry. Have an orange, uh, liquid inside of it, like an orange, like, um. It's not like it's like a viscousy liquid, and two of them have a green like, uh, like just watery liquid in it. Okay, so I will kneel in front of it, and I'll put the pouch in between my knees. It's a small pouch. Small pouch in between my knees, and then I'll take all the vials out and put it to the side of the chest. Okay. After I do that, I will inspect the vial. All right, and you see all this happening. Um, Sally, don't you think the safest place for all the vials is in the paddedness of the straw? Well, no, we gotta figure out what chest. they are first, so I'm taking them out. I'm what make sure is that? Away. What's inside the pouch in between your knees? I wanna know. A, I does she know. see it? What? And B, if she does, I will She's sitting next to you watching I respond. I don't know, I'm gonna check it out right now. Just wait, just wait. Oh, they're talking, do I arrive now. there? Because I You start walking over and you arrive. Like, so open it now. I open the pouch and I stick my hand in it. And I hope nothing kills me. <laughs> and something bites you. Oh, God, this is brilliant. How far in do you stick your hand? All the way, all the way, all the way. All my the hand way. in. I don't know what that means. Like, I just I, I'm guessing that's in. all the way. Just do it, just do it, just do it, just do it, please. Please. <laughs> you find four, you find, like, a bunch of coins. There's, it's filled with, like, oh. money. I Fuck. pull out as much as I can in one handful. T- okay. You there's four platinum and twenty four gold in there. Four platinum, twenty four gold. Yeah, four platinum pieces and twenty four gold pieces. So, so you found gold. I think you should keep it since you're the one who went to the wagon. Um, I'm like, Andy, look, there's money, Same. money, money, money. Here, come here. Here. Um, I have a proposition to make. What? That I already told you about. What? You guys split the money between yourselves. <laughs> I keep the horse. That's fair. Okay. The horse is I don't probably. Think anybody was gonna fight you on that, even if you said I want the horse. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Nope. Well, the horse is probably worth my share of the money. So. Where's Bear? Bear. Where is Bear? There? Do I see him? Okay. He's there. Are you Bear. guys in the wagon? He's, Bear, look. No, they're not. They're next to the wagon. Okay. Bear, look, look, look. I found stuff. Oh, cool. Uh, like I woke up to the crate. Look inside it. There's nothing. Crate's filled with hay. There's nothing in there. Okay, it's I climb inside it and go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay, he like puts his feet inside the crate and then he like gets Bear, down. Bear, don't you want your gold? What? Do you want your money? You share the money? I'm gonna... Do you, do you uh, not want I, it? I guess it's, it's just a, you and it's mine. It's a box like this big. So yeah, you put your feet inside of it and then you like curl up and then you lie down and the box like falls over and your feet are like sticky. How? I, 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 I assume he meant that he doesn't want to share the gold, so I split it between me and Kriv. So it's four platinum and 20 gold, so you take 24. three platinum, I'll take uh, the 20 gold and the one platinum. It'll equate. It's 24 gold. It's 24, 24 gold. gold. Okay, so I'll give you four gold, and I'll just let you have the four gold as well. So you add three platinum, four gold. I'll take right, two three platinum. platinum. Three platinum. Okay. Two, okay. The um, all the vials have little like uh, notes, like stickers on the side of them. They say "Drink me" on them. <laughs> if you want to try and drink them, sure. Go I ahead. was just making a reference to Alice in Wonderland. That's fine. Right. So every vial from now on is apparently from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> every vial ever. You should drink it. Try and shrink. Never once have yeah. vials ever existed except for in Alice in Wonderland. Um, <laughs> um, they, can I decipher this, this, Captain? Yes, they're written in common. Uh, the four re- orange ones say fire, and the mm-hmm. two green ones say acid. Ooh. There you go. Woo! So it's alchemist fire and alchemist acid. Can I carry this chest in my bag? Wait, you gave him fire? No, but the uh, the vials the the vials themselves are thick. They don't seem like they needed that much protection, as okay. much protection as was proper. Right, and, and I'm you remember in the thing. Right? You remember like br- carrying the thing and like banging it around mm-hmm. all over the place. Okay, I mm. asked... So you think that they probably wouldn't break unless you, like, forcefully threw them. Okay. Um, I asked Sally what she found in the vials. Uh, fire. I jump back two squares and start growling at her. Um, yeah, fire. I step back another square and start growling Wait, at her. Wait, do you not like What's fire wrong? or something? You're a dragon. I'm not that kind of dragon, asshole. Uh, okay, I guess I'll hold on to these then. I put them in my bag. And I, I wrap them up in my old, um... I kind of use my old robes as a cushion at the bottom of my bag, or in, at the top of my bag, and I put them on there, and I kind of like loosely throw it on there, so they okay. can't they can't really move around too much. They have a little shock protection. I right. I'll shift towards the cart. I won't go any further towards Sally though. Okay. Uh, all right. So so I'm like sidestepping over to the cart, maintaining a radius between us. Is there anything else happening? Um. Can I name the horse? What color is the horse? Oh my god. <laughs> it's, um. It's, Wait, what type of horse? Is, is it a pony? It's a not gonna make it to episode yearling? 16. It's a palomino. Jesus fucking. So he's like. What co- no, brown? it's like a brown. It's like the all right, most. All right, standard, that's all I need to know. Like, it's like a brownish, like, bait. Or a brownish, like. Like, right. a really light brown color. That's yes, what I need to know. Standard because... horse. It's not big. It's like normal sized, like, horse. It's completely normal in every way. All right, so I already have a Professor Black, so I dub the horse Dr. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Using, Brown, the horse. Just, just, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, so wait, what were we doing? Um, someone just named something Dr. Brown. Oh, Dr. The horse! Brown. Professor right. Black and Dr. Brown. I think it's a beautiful combination. They're both heads. getting eaten. Okay. How do so, you guys not appreciate my cleverness? I climb you into the cart and start looking around. What happens when you find something that's white? It is Please don't a don't cart, Mister White. It has no. like some seats on the si- on both sides. Oh, I think it's Like it's big enough for six. Colonel White. It's big enough for Commander. six people and a driver. Uh, okay. Is there um, any inventory still in that cart? There's nothing else in the cart. Okay. I will climb out of the cart. In the wagon. Walk over to Anisoptera and Sally and say, we should probably get the hell out of here. Hey, Dr. Brown's joining our fellowship. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, let's tie him up to the cart and let's head out. Tie him up to the cart? <coughs> yes, let's... Are we, we taking the cart with us? We might as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Crimmate has a good point. Might as well. Okay. Um, 
Here, everyone, give me your bag. I'll throw it in the cart. We don't have to sit in it, but we can put our bags in there. I'm gonna make it's a... big enough for six people. I mean, we don't have to sit in it. If you, you don't have to. I'm going to walk behind the cart and make a stealth check. Why are you making a stealth check? You'll find out. Okay. Seventeen. Sure. All right, Steph. You see him walk, start to walk behind the cart. The rest of you don't notice anything. Well, no, no. If he doesn't, if he doesn't, it's broad daylight. Doesn't he get like minus? Well, no, no, there's no, no. no cover. Well, no, no, you're just, walking. Well, you're in the cart asleep. Hey, well, are any of you expecting him to be doing things? Well, no, aren't not, you not, looking directly at well, him? Well, no, not that. Hold on. If I as clarification for clarification, if he doesn't specify what he's doing. Is there not a DC for him to pass, so he's just rolling to roll? The DC is the, is your passive... Okay, so the way that it's working is he's rolling stealth check not to remain unhidden, but to remain unnoticeable. To so us. like Yeah, so like if Michael got up from the table right now, went out to the kitchen, nobody would really be like, what's Michael doing? We'd just be like, oh, Michael's getting up from the table. And then if he lit the house on fire, none of us would be like... We'd, like, when the house is on fire, we'd be like, oh shit, Michael lit the house on fire, but none of us would have enough foresight to stop him because we weren't watching him do it. I'm so, really, <laughs> pretty angry. probably less yes. angry with Kaido getting up from the table. Are so, the what's, happening, what's happening What's happening now is that Kriv is like, you guys are all talking, and then after he's just like, you finish your he's talking, like Homer Simpson fading to the bushes. Right, he just, he basically just like, just walks away and just starts like inspecting other things and then walks behind the cart. The only person who notices him doing this is the person whose passive perception, which is a per- like their passive perception is going to be how how well they keep track of their surroundings is step because she's the only person who has a passive perception that can beat a 17 stealth check. Yeah. No. All of you have the same passive perception actually. So what? Everybody here has the same passive perception except for her. Oh, except for Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yes. What's everyone's passive insight? I'm not telling you. Mine is better. Are you sure it is? No, mine's higher. <laughs> good jokes, bro. <laughs> good jokes. Anyway, so <laughs> let's give a round of applause for so the only person who notices good jokes. you actually like walking away is Steph. But it's not a thing that you like. That yeah, I mean, like, why would I be worried about him just walking? To the exactly. Park? So do I see the body by the hole since I'm behind the car? It's not behind the car. Mm-hmm. Where is it? The, the hole, like, encompasses a large area that isn't only behind the car. So, like, the body is is at the hole, but it's not behind the car. It's okay. still within view of them. All. I'll look around the hole for the body. Okay, the hole, the body is, like, next to the car. Okay, I will walk next to the body, draw my longsword, and go for, the ne- go for the decapitation. All right, Steph, you see him walk next to the body, or walk next to the hole, and then he looks into the hole, and then he pulls out his sword. Kriv, what are you doing, you weirdo? Remember the last time we had to deal with the caster? Um, I mean, you already killed him, so... Wait, I guess I don't know that. I mean, he's already dead. Do you know so... that, though? Do I know that? You remember what we had to deal with? I guess if... you can assume that he's dead because he's lying next to a thing. But did we... With him bringing well, people back on. to life? Hold on. Sans hand. Baron, Baron just took, like, did we see Baron take him there and, like, put him there and, like, have his moment of silence? Do we know he's he there? He wasn't being stealthy. I mean, like, I mean, you're not being stealthy. He's not I wasn't being stealthy. stealthy. I, I yelled I, at him. I, like, I, walked, I don't know he, he walked, did that because I was fucking focused no, on No, I yelled at him and I, made, like, and that's a fine. Fair you don't know. Scene. You don't know that he's even, you just look over after she just makes mention of it and you see a body lying on the ground next to him. Okay. So, you made a scene in the forest. Was it deep in the forest? I thought it was at the edge of the forest. It was at the edge of the forest, but it's not like you guys were standing. It's not like you guys were standing in the living room and they were standing in the dining room, and you guys were yelling at each other and they yeah, were playing. Yeah, but the I box. mean, it was like they're in the dining room and we're at like the door. Uh, That's it'd be the more end of the like you, It'd be more like they were in the dining room. And you guys are out back. Like, oh really? Okay. It's like a large clearing. I think the clearing between the the carriage and the actual clearing is third. Or between the carriage and the tree line is like thirty feet. Plus another, like, you guys walked, like, 10 feet into the forest. So you're, like, at least 40 yeah, feet. Yeah, I mean, I, I yelled pretty loud, though. They heard, yeah, they heard bickering. But okay. I, I mean, they weren't paying, it's not like they were paying attention or trying to listen. What are you, do you fucking sit down. Jeez. Stop being him. God damn it, Alan. So, I draw my longsword, I yelled back. Griff, what are you doing? I'm cutting his head off. Why? Remember Leave what, him alone. No. You remember what we just had to go through when he kept bringing bodies back? What do you think would happen if we just left him here? I think the ants are going to come out of the hole and devour him. So that's yeah, fine. Yeah, let's speed up the process. I cut the net. I go for what the, the net. What the heck? Crib, stop. No. Ah! 27. All right, uh, you try to his head. Do I have to roll damage? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh, 
You're such a weirdo. 13. 35. Okay. You cut through it. Okay. I kick the body into the hole. I take the head, and I toss it to the other end of the hole, just to make sure it goes All right, inside. so that is a lot of things. So after you... You guys become alerted after she starts yelling at him. Don't even but care. Don't you don't notice. care. And Do I not care or do I not notice? Which one? You just said you don't care, so you don't care. But I don't care. I don't care if it happens. I don't even think I notice it, though. He just said you okay. notice it because I was yelling. Like, you notice her yelling, but if you care or not, it doesn't... It's, if you care or not, is the cider. Bless you. Man of the damn clan. Mighty okay. idiot warrior. What? Keyword there. Mighty idiot warrior. Um, so yeah, you notice... You notice it, but you just don't care. So you don't pay attention to it. Okay. So after I cut off the head, I'll pick up the head up, up in one hand. Okay. Use my other hand to push the body into the hole. Okay. Then I will take the head, I will pull back, and toss it into the hole. Okay. Can the ants come out and, like, bite Chris' leg or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> then I you will hear them coming up. go clean myself off and try and come There's out. There's not a lot of blood because he was already dead. All right. Well, did the, any blood splatter on me when I caught off his hand? Um, a little bit, but not a lot. All right. Well, I'll clean off the blood and go back to the cart. Okay. What are the rest of you doing? Um, can I choose the horse's name? No. Nope. No, 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 no. Professor can Brown be, forever. Someone just fucking kill the horse. <laughs> can, you be, can, can, can you be Colonel Brown? To pull, you have to pull the cart somehow. Can you be Colonel Brown now? He's a dwarf like who's Colonel very Brown. strong. No, he's actually a dragonborn. dragonborn. She can't do Even it. better, he's dragonborn. Tie him up. Cart. She needs, um... Colonel Brown. What was the item? Didn't you need like, a special wait, item wait, to change the name? You need a special item to change an animal's name. No, most I can pull with He's already responding to Dr. Brown. Alright, fine. Dr. Brown it is. Change his name. And it's not Doc Brown. It's Dr. Brown. Dr. Brown. That's fine. Professor and doctor. They, like, walk in collegiate hallways together and talk about... as far as I can Get a reference. I do get the reference. Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Oh, my God. I was worried for, like, three seconds. Your your hand was, like, right in my face area. Sorry. Anyway. Of course I I get the reference. I get back to the cart and I say we should probably head out. I've never seen Back to the Future. That is really important. That's Harry's you should probably see it because it's really good. At least the first two. Reflex check. Reflex check. Reflex check. check. Alan, you're going to have to make another um, save versus curse. Are you serious? (laughs) He's dead serious. (laughs) What's the curse called? Alan, you just watched Star Wars... Last year, yeah. you've never seen Back to the Future. I'll watch it. Next no. thing you're going to say no. is that you've never seen Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh, God. I will, I've only seen The Temple of Doom. Oh, worst one? What the, 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 the worst one? That's not even the, the, the worst one. one. <laughs> no, no. Dude, are you, are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah. Dude, hey, Crystal, Crystal Skull. Sir. Crystal Skull? Crystal Skull? Crystal oh, Skull. Crystal oh, oh, Skull. I don't even count that. I don't even count, I, that. I don't even count hey, that either. Hey. Guess what? Crystal Skull, more Indiana Jones than Temple of Doom. Two bad. More Indiana Jones. Dude, Jones. Temple of Doom more was Indiana Jones. Of shit. Dude, you Temple need to watch Jones. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Crystal Skull had a terrible plot, yep. and it was not a great movie, but it was more Indiana Jones than Alan, Temple of Doom. Go home tonight and, and watch Raiders of the Lost Ark. I tried to watch, so, I tried to watch matter, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Indiana Lost Jones. Lost it wasn't on Netflix. I want to see Adventure. It was on HBO. I want to see Indiana Jones whipping. Go buy somewhere. I don't want to see some whipping. Go buy somewhere. All right, hang on. Wait, wait. We're having three conversations. Okay. Okay, I it don't doesn't like, matter. None of this is going on there. I tried. Watch, I tried to watch it on Netflix. It wasn't there. Tried to watch it on HBO Go. It wasn't there. Tried to watch it on Showtime anytime. It wasn't there. Let me watch this. I don't like. I really don't like to like stream stuff and like. You know, I have like, like all the shit. movies. Like, just ask me. He's got all the movies. All the movies. He's got all the movies that have ever existed. If if you if back you want to let me six. Um, yes, sir. If you want to let me back. Sorry, Daddy. Six, I spit all over your milk. If you want, uh, if you want to let me borrow back. Wait, you have on demand too. What on demand? On your TV. Verizon. Yeah. They're always on on demand. I'm not going to buy them. You th- they're... F- just, just... That's not on demand. On demand's a free one. I don't, I don't care if you don't like, like it. You At least just stream it. It's the easiest one. I don't think we it. have it, Chris. You have I, each- I understand okay. it's the easiest I know way. you have HBO on demand because you watch Game of Thrones for free. Yes. Just look at HBO and be like, comedy. Or like, adventure or whatever. It's probably there. Can I okay. just say something? <sighs> yes. Nope. Sure, go ahead, Kaido. Please grace us with your wisdom. <laughs> He's say some retarded. I really, He's say really some... can't wait for self-driving cars. You're what? Fucking, fucking... Where'd that come from? Are you that lazy, Kaido? He's that lazy. You are fucking no, that lazy. I wanted to tell him to get in his car and go drive so that he crashes and, like... He can drive right now. He's had a shot of tequila and, like... But that wouldn't endanger other people, would it? 
But then that led me to self-driving cars. That would still endanger other people. No, it wouldn't. It's okay. self-driving cars. So I, 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 I understand that. I understand that. And I understand that... Okay, I feel like it, it, it would be... If we can if we can have a network of cars, I feel like it'd be the more... Google cars, man. I understand that. But no, it's not about self-driving. Self-driving is worthless. What? No. What? No, self-driving is worthless. Network of self-driving cars... Is, is the only way you can do it. So yeah. it would have to be everybody. No, no, no. No, no, no. You can have a self-driving car that's reactive and it'll be fine. No, like the Google cars, they have never had an accident in like the fucking I 5 billion dollars. I understand that. But a self-driving car is okay. Garnet. What makes it really good is if you have self-driving car on a network of cars. That way you can go, you can go as fast as possible and make the most efficient routes. Right. A network to... of self-driving cars is the most efficient, but... A self-driving car standalone is still it's it's good a better. It's good. Position. I don't I don't think it that is. may not I don't even think necessarily it is a, be the case because of latency. Like you have to wait wait for network latency to go from like cars. By to the server, time we get to back a, to the other car, by the time to, we get to a network of fucking cars, no, we will have a network of self-driving overcome. cars. Because most most traffic problems, like as far as like backups and stuff, even on like highways. No, like I, that, understand that, I understand that. I understand that. I understand that. Like, you can grab, like, network, like, traffic data and, like, reroute around the traffic incidents. Like, that's not no, no, that... No, no. What he's saying is that having is, an it's, entire... It's, so, like, it's every car on the road... Everything is preventative. Every, every car on the road, road is sure. self-driving. It, it's all self-driving, and because they're all self-driving, I feel like they're... I don't know, if you, if you consider server latency a problem, maybe they can figure out some sort of... A well, dynamic that, uh, local if it, if service. If every sort car of is self driving, no, no. it would it would they would be able to compensate. But every car it. won't be no, self driving. No, 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 no. Like what I'm saying is, like it's better just to have the car localized to itself and just be able to collect a large amount of data because it's using like lidar or whatever, and that's almost instant. It, they just collect it via that and via the cameras or whatever fucking sensors they have, and just like make decisions based off that. And they can pull like traffic data, right. so it can reroute around traffic if there's like some sort of incident or like there's heavy traffic in this area, and they can just reroute. I mean that that's that's like a nav issue. The the, the pros of having uh like uh, uh what's it called network. My point is like we're saying the same thing. I'm just saying you don't need them necessarily to have a network for them to be advantageous. Right. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're that. advantageous no matter what. They're the most efficient no what, they could but, be but if it was all a network because then they could they could work together. Look, I'm saying the decisions that the cars make should not be network based because there's latency. With okay, that. well, no, I understand all like, that. He's what not I'm, saying what, network. What, what, I'm, like saying, network what I'm saying is that is that their worth is like a thousand fold to the point where we have to do it if they're like a network of self driving smart cars. No, no, no. Cars. Okay, I think you're saying in, like you're okay. He's not saying that have them attached to a network. He's saying to have them networked to each other. So, yeah. like, that the cars work in sync with each other. Not right. that they are connected to a network and they're working off a network, but that they're working together in order to... Right. Again, I'm goal. saying you don't need to necessarily have that. You can have the sensors, like, pick up whatever data that's needed I mean, immediately. Th then that's just like, well, I'm too lazy to drive my car. Not like I want to have the no, most efficient not. Track. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Like, and that okay. wouldn't give you the most efficient travel. You said have the most like, efficient No, that would just be okay. like, I want to sit in my car, I want to go, I want to read a book while I go. Right. That that that's that that is that a self driving car. Efficient. That would be like the most efficient lifestyle, but not the most efficient, efficient travel. Right. No, the no, most no, efficient like, okay. for the most efficient for traffic, for travel, for everything else is to have is everyone's car just like, hey everyone, this is where I'm going, this is how fast I'm, I'm gonna go, this is what exit I'm gonna right. take. Okay. And everyone else adjusting to that dynamically. Right. Okay, what I'm saying is you don't necessarily need to have them networked in order for that to happen. If there yeah. is a large What's number this? of like cars these, that are like self driven, they can these, just compensate for that them. on their own. Well, they don't have to have a connection to a network. Would it, okay, wouldn't like, there be something be if not network, there would be some sort of similar thing where they're all talking to each other, yeah? Okay, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Shut they up, would shut all be up, sensing up, each other, up, but they not, may not necessarily be making messages toward each other. God damn it, just shut up. What if you had a self driving wagon? Oh my god. What time is it? It is late. It's like it's probably 10.15 or 10.20. It's 10.30. Okay, hey. let's continue. Midnight. Okay. 12.30. So, are you attaching the horse to the wagon? Because we still haven't decided that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess we should take the wagon with us. And I feel like the horse is the one way. It's better than one person riding, three people carrying, or walking. Fine. Okay. All right, so I'll help Anisoptera... Hook can up I ride the, the horse? Can still decapitating? You can. I'm there's the not room for you to ride the horse, but you can drive the horse. Okay, I drive the horse. 
Go horse, I go. Will Doctor Brown to the rescue? Put my stuff in the carriage, caravan, carriage, carriage. cart. It's not a caravan because there's not multiple. Right, cart, carriage. carriage. It's ca- it's covered. It's a covered wagon. Excellent. I put my stuff in the carriage and I'll sit next to it and I'll smile and I'll say, "Go, Annie, go." Sit next to it or sit in it? So, no. Put my stuff in the carriage and sit next to my stuff in the carriage. Okay. All right. And I will smile and I will say, "Go, Annie, go." We haven't even figured out where we're going, by the way. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Um, we're following the map. We can't go that so... way because there's a big giant hole there. I guess we're going straight. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I'll go ahead and climb inside. And I'll say, uh, alert us if anything happens. And I will start to take oh. a rest. Oh, right. There was other things in the wagon, remember? Oh, my God. You found them. There was a, there I was a crate. There was a crate. Of... Full of dull, if not unglowing stones. stones. Dull stones. Dull, right. if not unglowing stones. Anything else? That's it. Okay. So, sorry. So, yeah, there is a crate. There's a, also a crate in the wagon so, that uh, is filled with dull, dull, if not glowing stones. Familiar blue stones that you guys, whoever is getting in the wagon now that is not Sully, are just finding. Because he never told anybody about them. Do I um, see them since I'm, like, outside the wagon sure. driving the horse? Uh, to get... Uh, so yeah, you can if you like look back behind you through the like flap, then you can see it. I'll Flapper. poke my head through the flap pit with a stone in hand, pull it out and say, well, no, no, no. "What I, the fuck I, is this?" No, before before that, it, like as he starts going near the stones, like I'm just like, "Hey, hey, hey, crib, 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 crib! Don't touch those! Don't touch those!" You're, you're pulling a out. No, like he like you can't just say like I I should wave a stone at someone. You have to say, "I go, oh, I can walk over and grab a stone." Okay, as he's walking over, I say. Hey, 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 don't, Crib, don't he's touch still, those. He's still, like, his crib. thing happens, and you are still yelling at Crib, him. Crib, stop, stop touching those. Baron, Baron, he's touching magic. He's, he's going to he's gonna he's do a, us all. He, I'm he's sleeping sleep. in a box. He's sleeping in a box outside of the carriage. Right. Right. Baron, I, I, Baron, Baron, evil magic. He's touching evil magic, Baron. I, I touch the stone. Roll a perception check. Me? Yeah, see if you wake up. There you go. Wow. Uh, 16. I expected a 1. Cause yeah, me too. Evil. Yeah, um... 16 plus 319. Oh, yeah, you wake up. Okay. What? Baron, he's touching magic stones, evil magic stones. Baron. Crib, don't touch magic things. I've already You're touched. yelling, and it's, like, kind of far away from you. Okay. Um, I walk toward the yelling. Okay. You pull yourself out of the box and, like, kick it off. Ha- okay. By this point, have I already touched the stone? Yes, you have the stone in hand. In hand. Okay. Put it down, put it down. Um, you don't understand what you're doing. I with. climb into the wagon. Okay. And he's opening a box, right? No, he's playing he, with he's, stones. He has it's stones crate, in his hand. It's a crate that doesn't have like a lid on it, and he's like pulling stones out of the crate. They're blue stones. They are the same stones that you. They're familiar blue stones. They look extremely familiar. It's up to you whether or not you remember where you saw blue stones before. I'm not gonna are say these where. the same stones from when we where we were captured? Don't put a finger in front of my face. I'll bite the <clears> fuck <throat> off. Okay, fine. The necromancer's. Place. So you you see you see dull. They're not glowing, what? but they're Captain dull Meta. blue, like gem like stones. Okay, I see the crate. Uh, I see that it's open, and I start walking toward it. As I pass him, I attempt to slap the uh, stones out of his hand. No. Nice. You guys slap each other a lot. I pimp slapped him for hitting uh, him. A lot of slaps that are directed towards Kaido Actually, are reactive Actually, mine was to not a slap. A slap is right. the inside the hand thing. I slapped. backhanded It's him. mostly Kaido slapping people. And people reacting to that. Um, does Baron get near me? He, I don't know. Are you standing next to the crib? I'm, I'm, I'm sitting. I'm sitting. Okay. Him is, is Baron just I, the crib? Are you standing next to? The I crib? picked up the stone. I just turned to Sally and said, "What the hell is this?" Those are evil stones. You usually need to not be touching it. You need to put it down. We were touching the stone. If Baron comes near me, uh, this is what this is what I would okay. do to Kaido, and this is what I do to Baron. I say, "Hey, hey, wait! I haven't done hey, anything yet." Hey, Baron, hang on, Baron. As you Baron. walk towards him to slap the stone out of his hand, you pass by Sally. Oh, okay. Oh, I grab my shoulder and do that, and I start shaking. I was like, "Baron, Baron, he's touching evil stones. Evil no, stones, I, Baron." I, I'm going, going. How about how about you just say, "Put it down," instead of trying to slap it out of my hand like a girl. Put it down. No. Crib, Jeez. crib, you need to put it down. They're evil. They're evil magic. Quick. Okay. I try to slap him again. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was a wasted hey, roll. Hey, 19. That was a wasted 19. roll. Where are you trying to slap? Uh, he slaps try, your hand. And he slaps slap the, the thing stuff, out of your the hand. stones out of your hand. He like smacks 
hits right on the stone. And the stone. Did you not learn from the last time we did this about touching me? He doesn't actually touch you. He just hits the stone. Right. Oh, stone I thought falls. he says he slapped my hand. No, he hits. He hits like almost directly on the stone, and the stone like slips out of your hand. And falls when the stone falls on the floor, I grab it and put it back in the crate. I was like, guys, guys, no, you don't know what you're dealing with. Like, l- let me handle the stones. These are stones that they, they might accidentally suck your soul. Remember? Mm-hmm. remember? Okay. Uh, and I climb the crate and go to sleep. Okay. I'll he climbs on the crate? I climb into the crate. Into the crate. With all the stones? Yes. Yeah. I I grab his hair and I start pulling. I was like, no. I got his beard. Holy <laughs> fuck, yes. I grab his beard. I say, no. No, Baird. You're going to get your soul sucked into those. What? Beard, what? they suck souls, Beard! I pull his beard. This is the first time you're hearing about these gems sucking souls, by the way, because he never told you about this before. Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hey, how about we just chuck these in the fucking hole? What? Then? Why didn't you tell us this before? I did, you don't listen! No, no you, you didn't. didn't! Jinx, 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 jinx! You guys both owe me. Co- okay, hold on, time out. If everyone actually owed me, if everyone actually gave me the cokes they owed me, we're not giving I, you cokes. I understand that. If you guys actually did, and you were bound to give me those goddamn cokes, I would have like six twenty-four. Right, but we're not doing hey, that because they're all awful. If against everybody us. else was six years old, there would be a lot more. Anyway, going no around. wonder you're playing an we NBA didn't school know ball. that they suck out souls. I keep telling you, I've told you for the past five. No, minutes, you they haven't. Suck souls, you haven't. Beard, get out of there! I keep pulling on his beard till he gets I, out. I, I, I walk out of the crate. And I start dragging it out of the wagon. No, no, don't don't take it out. Because you don't know who's going to take it, Baron. You want this to fall in the evil hands? I climb out of the wagon, and I help him take the crate out. We have to keep it where we can watch it, but we can't have anyone go near it. They're still pulling it out of the wagon. We're, We're still pulling it out of the wagon. Baron, you want evil people to have these stones? We're going to throw it in the hole with the ants. You're going to make super care. ants, Baron. I don't think they care. I There's do dead bodies in there. It can reanimate them, no, Baron. No, it won't. Baron, you don't understand magic. No, Baron, <laughs> Okay. All right. Are you guys committed to this? Yes. Are you doing it? Okay. I am committed to throwing them in the hole. All right. I will watch him do this Take and not give a fuck. over and dump everything into the hole, and then you kick the crate into the hole. Can I just like watch we, this? It's like, not we. It's all sure. Baron doing this. This is like this is like a play to me. Like this is entertainment to me. And I'm just like I pull a piece of bread like out of my bag, and I'm just like eating it, just like oh. So you, Oh, so what's gonna happen next? Oh. You do your best to slash popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You happy? Sure. You proud of yourself? Sure. Yes. Sure. Okay. I'm very proud of myself, actually. Excellent job. I climb back inside the car. She said, "This gonna be good." <laughs> <laughs> and somehow slaps out of a fucking lawn chair and sits down. <laughs> I climb back inside the car and attempt to take an extended rest. Okay. I climb okay. back in the car. I look for a different box. When Baron, so when Baron comes near me, yeah, you kick a crate into the hole, dumped it in the hole with the rest of the. Things. When Baron comes near me, I say, "Baron, you took an oath to say true each other." I told, I, I told you I told you that, that they might reanimate people and that they're evil and you just put evil in the world that's like cheating on your girlfriend and then getting angry at her because she kissed somebody it else. doesn't matter it doesn't it matter like taking a role if 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 we, if, we, if, we encounter, if we encounter if we encounter reanimated people Baron I, I'm, I'm gonna assume that they're because they're of this I told you not to do it Baron I, Baron I, I, why I, I, I get I get really doe eyed and I say I'm Baron too, why I'm too tired I, I, yell, I yell back to the two of them it's not gonna be the caster cause he's motherfucking decapitated What's a caster? I'm so confused. I'm I, too tired for the stealth breaker. I, I climb back into the wagon and I fall asleep in the corner. Okay. I go and sit in the wagon by the front entrance so I can see outside in front of us the I'll beauty sleep. of the forest. It's it's like a, a flap. You can like tie the flap. I off. rip the flap off. You rip the flap off. Okay, yeah. he rips your flap off. It's not her flap. She, she has <laughs> the horse. She's sitting up front. She has the horse. I don't know, she can do whatever she wants with the horse. Like, okay. the, 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 car- the carriage is not okay. So the carriage is like a flap in the back to like keep the the wind out of the back and a flap in the front to keep the wind out of the front and a giant hole in the side that Sully is sliced with his well, dagger. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, no, the hole in the side was from... Didn't you say there was some sort of flaps on the side that were tied down? No. No, oh, you okay. cut It was in. a covered wagon and instead of going to climb in the back... You just sliced the hole down got, the side of it. I got sliced. No, and then you ripped it open and climbed inside. I yelled to Anisopter to start up the wagon, and I lie back and start up the wagon. It, it should not be quite, quite a large <laughs> I'll hole. I'll just rev our engine. No, just fucking get the horse moving. All right, Let's so go. I, like, you know, slap the reins, and I'm like, Dr. Brown, back to the future. Let's go. And he doesn't move because we're too heavy. <laughs> and I magically and reach the- into the future, pull out a gun, and shoot myself in the fucking head for hearing that. <laughs> Um, okay. I would like the horse to travel. Is over encumbered. I would like yeah. to continue traveling north towards 
our goal on the map. Okay. So I, you know, direct the horse to go in that direction, and we start going. Right. Um, while we start going, I pull out the map in my bag. Not that's that. not the map. There we go. And it's also with me. And that's not the I'm actual sure, map. I'm pretty sure I have it in my that's the map. That's the map of the world, or the continent, not the map of the... Which we don't actually own. Do we own that? You, yeah, you took that. I have it. Okay. You have it in Pinko your hands, it but it us. was oh, in my right. bag. Well, no, I have it. The, the DM Maybe. said if you have it in your hand, you have it in your thing. I made those things. Nice. So, does he take no, it I out of my that. bag in game, or does he magically throw it them? But I made the, the much cooler journal page. Captain DM cool. said whoever holds the item IRL has the things in game. Um, so, it's it's so if it's lodged in someone, it just magically happened to be what? in my hand. Okay, so you magic the thing into your just hand. Like whatever, I sleep. Just a little bit. I sleep for eight hours. Regain my dailies, my action point, and like my healing searches. Okay, you're out of action point. No, you he's regaining one. Okay, oh. all right. So the you guys head off in a direction. That is north. Annie, 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 Annie. Annie. Look, yes, look, yes, look, yes. Look, I think we're going this way. Because there's a road now, and now we're bound by a road, right? Since we're in a in, we're in a horse and carriage. Yes, you're bound by a road. But, but the road itself. I don't know how to quite explain it. So the road itself. Okay, so roads are roads because they go from one place of living to another place of living, and right. therefore roads are made. You're going in a northern direction, a northern western, a northwestern direction, and the mm-hmm. road is going in that direction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can assume that if there is a road, that means that at the end of the road will be a, a thing. A thing. All okay. right, let's do that. I think okay. we kind of have to go northwest anyway. Now that I'm looking at the map. Okay. So. I just think we should be careful because there's just a road, and it might be a bit vulnerable on the road. I'm going to Because you guys decided to stay off the beaten path so that you can avoid things. Before I think. Um, Alright. That is the... I think we're going to call it there. Alright. That's a good spot. Oh gosh. Cat's attacking me. Alright, so that's the end of episode 15. 15. 15. Okay. That's not a very exciting ending. Yay! Oh, yay! Come back next week to find out about... Find yeah. out how long until their carriage explodes. Yay, fire. Here's a hint. It's only a few hours. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. What? Subscribe to our podcast and like us on Facebook. Yeah. Or don't. We don't care. Please do that. Or we care. Apparently, we don't care. I so. care. I care. Which I is care more important. We're going to keep doing this anyway. I don't give a fuck. What Good you job, do. dick suckers. Let's go. Yay. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to an episode of Drunkards and Dragons. If you've enjoyed the show, please subscribe to us on iTunes and like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash drunkdnd.